Good morning. Oh, let me wait for audio to start. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Looks like sunset in Boston. Sunrise. Okay, the waiting room has been cleared. Good morning. This is an administrative hearing before the Mayor's Office of Consumer Affairs and Licensing. Today is Monday, January 24th, 2022. This hearing is being conducted pursuant to certain temporary amendments to the open meeting law. That is what allows us to meet virtually. This hearing is being recorded and will be posted to the City of Boston's website. We are joined today by the Executive Director of the Mayor's Office of Consumer Affairs and Licensing, Kathleen Joyce, and Director of Operations, Rebecca Fu. I will read the agenda item for today for the record. I will then ask who is present on behalf of the licensee and who is present on behalf of the Boston Police Department, after which I will swear in all parties. The police report will then be read into the record, followed by a statement by the licensee and questions from the Executive Director. Our item for today is AM Calejas Inc. doing business as La Hacienda Restaurant and Bar, located at 148 to 150 Meridian Street in East Boston. Date of the incident, January 7th, 2022. Live music taking place on Friday against restrictions listed on the entertainment license. Who is present on behalf of the licensee? Uh, me, Aldo Calejas, uh, one of the managers. Great, thank you. And who was present on behalf of the Boston Police Department? Sergeant Detective William Gallagher. Thank you. And are there any other individuals who plan to testify on this uh, item today? Uh, Detective Hernandez, if needed. Great, thank you. Can you all please raise your right hand? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. I do. Thank you. Sergeant Gallagher, please proceed with the police report. Yes, good morning. On 1 7. 20, it should say 2022 at about 10.33 p.m. Sergeant Detective William Gallagher, the licensed premise unit in P.O. Houlihan, Gold 425, responded to La Hacienda with a report of loud music emanating from the premise. Sergeant Gallagher positioned himself across the street from La Hacienda and conducted a sound reading of the premise, which resulted in 67 decibels. Sergeant Gallagher and P.O. Houlihan proceeded to enter the premise to inform management of the noise complaint and conduct a licensed premise inspection. Inside the premise, officers met Miguel Macias and informed him of the complaint. Mr. Caes stated the band was finishing up their last song. On inspection of La Hacienda's entertainment license, Sergeant Gallagher observed several restrictions. One was no more than three performers in acoustical and instrumental entertainment may only take place on Thursday and Sundays. Sergeant Detective Gallagher observed four entertainers dressed in distinctive clothing, and it was Friday night. Mr. Chaos stated that there were only three performing, and he was unaware of the Friday night restriction. As a result, what was observed, Sergeant Gallagher issued a license premise inspection notice number 061260 to La Hacienda for the premise having live music on Friday night against restrictions on the entertainment license. Mr. Miguel Caes signs for an acceptance for notice. Those essentially are the facts of that evening. Thank you. And would the licensee like to address the alleged incident? Uh, yes. Um, so we had three performers and uh, a backup or actually like just helping out with the instruments. I mean, uh, it was a huge oversight on our part uh, for not noticing the entertainment license. It was only for Thursdays and Sundays. Uh, business is slow on, in January and I was just trying to bring in people with new, new ideas and new forms of entertainment. Um, it was a huge mistake on my part for not noticing those small, the, I mean, the huge details that it was only for Thursday and Sunday. I'd definitely take full responsibility on that. Um, we are currently working an update uh, well, to get the licenses uh, so that we can have a live uh, mariachi with, uh, with, with the three-piece band for Friday nights. And uh, we've been going since uh, last week. We've been having uh, uh, the one-time entertainment license uh, and going through that process of doing it every Friday in the hopes that uh, it can, uh, it'll work out to make it permanent at some point. Um, as Officer Gallagher did state on the report, the sound reading was 67, I think the limit 70. And we were way under capacity with 70 people to the 99 that were allowed. So I 
I don't know if how much noise you could have been making. We've also always had problems with the neighbor complaining that we are making noise. We're always usually way under. But uh, I do take full responsibility for uh, fix that. Uh, uh, and Thank you, Executive Director Joyce. Any questions? Uh, just a, a comment. Um, I think if you continue to apply for the, the one day licenses for Friday and, and build um, a track record of operating within um, your license, that will go a long way for making that permanent, permanent on a Friday. And I appreciate the fact that the sound, according to um, Sergeant Gallagher, was under um, what was permitted, and uh, and I do realize there are some neighbors there that um, may not be happy with even that level of sound coming out. But I think as an operator, if you could just work with us and pull those one days for entertainment on Fridays, and we'll see how that goes after a couple of months and revisit the issue. Um, just be sure for my staff's purposes that you get them in um, two weeks in advance um, and so that we may process them on time. Um, I don't have any questions, but I'm going to ask um, Director of Operations, Rebecca Foot, see if she wants to add anything about the application process. Um, I just wanted to add if you plan on also applying for Saturdays annually to make sure you get one timer for both Friday and Saturday. Oh, okay. um, just to build a track record for both the dates, because if you only do Friday, it doesn't always translate to what always happens on a Saturday. Um, okay. And, yep. And I just wanted to note that condition has been on the license since it was granted in 2017. Um, and it was the previous Captain McCormick's intention to have one timers just so that there was more control on the weekend dates and to build that track record. And we have not. At first, I know you, um, the premise had to apply for one timers in 2017 and not much since. So definitely just keep applying for those. And as long as it goes well, um, we can amend that license. Okay. Thank you, any further questions? Okay, hearing none, the executive director will take this matter under advisement and will issue a written decision. And that is the only item before us today. So thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you.